very very happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> and uh, today we all are here to discuss among ourselves why should we not celebrate April Fool just on the April Fool's Day, but we should celebrate it for the whole day. There are many reasons for it to be happy. For the whole year. And to explain that, we are having a great bulldozer of a personality among us. A bulldozer who has uh, shattered many walls, many boundaries in Goa. Dr. Claude Alvarez. Please give him a big hand. So now, Dr. Claude. Our Claude Bob will be explaining us why, why the day of April Fool is relevant to Goa and Goan people all of the year, throughout the year, 365 days in the year. Claude Bob. That was short and sweet. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> yeah, one thing I just uh, skipped up. The program which we are holding here, it's uh, everybody's program. That means this program is running by everybody's contribution. So please uh, donate generously so that such programs keep on happening and uh, we keep on celebrating April Fools all over the year. So I don't have to stand. No, no, please. You're all sit. sitting. I also need to sit. Yeah. I am a little amazed. When Delankur just asked me to come on April Fool's Day, I said, that's a good joke. Nobody is going to take me seriously and nobody is going to come because nobody comes on any message on April Fool's Day. Now I find that you people can't take a joke. <laughs> and therefore I am now under a compulsion to entertain you because you can't say anything serious on April Fool's Day. So I was trying to figure out how to take you all for a ride and whether the things that I want to say today will make some sense. We are, you know, actually in a very opportune moment to discuss what is happening in Goa on April Fool's Day. Because now we have the elections um, announced. The last time we had elections in 2017, we voted for one party and we got another party. <laughs> now this time, Whatever party you vote for is going to be the same party. You can vote for the Congress, those guys will bolt and join the BJP. And you vote for Ahmadmi party and they will bolt and join the BJP. And you go for the Congress and they will do the same thing. Because nobody is going to be able to resist these suitcases of Mr. Amit Shah. So, this whole election is going to be a joke. Because the citizens really don't know what to do in the circumstances. We have reached the lowest level of our democratic system in Goa. Because Goa has been the leader for this. You know? Goa has been the leader in showing politicians how to <coughs> defeat the anti-defection law. And now they have taken it to a new level, which is whoever has voted, we will still rule. Mr. Amit Shah, as a matter of fact, said that we are going to be here for the next 50 years. I don't know whether he is going to be there physically for the next 50 years, but he said we are going to be there for the next 50 years, which means that whatever government comes into power anywhere, it will be a BJP government. So this is our dispensation. This is, this is the sort of situation in which we are going to be uh, looking at. So in a sense, it's a very appropriate thing, because it's a very unreal thing, because we are the world's largest democracy, and yet being the world's largest democracy and duly exercising our vote, we still get, don't get what we want. We get something else, with somebody else's plan for us, and which we have got to accept whether we like it or not. 
I don't want to be very defeatist, defeatist in this because um, at least there are many things that are happening in Goa where a lot of people are doing things which <laughs> indicates that they are not defeatist at all. I think if you look at Goa as a whole, um, people sometimes come to visit me, uh, TV crews and uh, all sorts of other types of people come to waste my time. And they say that, you know, um, what's happening in the state of Goa? I said, there are hundreds of things happening in the state of Goa. There's not one village in Goa where there's no protest going on. There's no agitation going on. There's no, you know, rumpus in the Gram Sabha over something that's happening there. And there's no dharna or some street protest or something. It's a, if you look at the whole country, you think the whole country was dead compared to what's happening in Goa and the type of vitality that's there in Goan villages.